compliments of the season guys yeah so i'm going to be talking about dealing with the fear of missing out um in this festive season and the first thing i'm going to be saying is join communities now it may look as if i've talked that but it's so important for example in my own community like conversations were ongoing from morning to like 8 19 people were just dropping things sharing pictures just we just had fun and i i believe that for my members even if they were at home just being on that community just helped them to be able to interact and relate with one or two people and i believe that any other person that was a part of any other community would also enjoy something like that so one major way to actually deal with that is join community. So if you have something you're doing with yourself and with people that you love or you care, I mean, people who care about you or you share certain value system and all, you'll be good, you know. The second thing I wrote on my note is try to do new things. So instead of sitting down and you're bored all by yourself, why not try something new? Why not try to do something you've not done before or something you've always wanted to do? Maybe this might just be the time to try it out. So maybe there was a new skill you want to learn. You can go online and watch more videos to educate yourself about it, you know, stuff like that. Those are great ways to actually utilize your time and then you're not even seeing what is going on with the other people. The other thing is build relationships before festive seasons. You know, a lot of people live a very lonely life before the festive seasons. You know, they are so hooked into their work and all. And so they don't even get to actually relate with people. And so when festive season comes, it's like nobody also remembers them. So you can make up your mind to actually build relationship, connect with people genuinely, connect with people online and physically. And then when festive seasons come like this, they can invite you for something. They can get you involved in an activity that can also make you feel among and also make you enjoy the spirit of the only day you get. The other thing I want to say is um, create boundaries. Create boundaries. So if you find out that a person is intentionally trying to just rub something on your face, you can create boundaries, you know. And I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to balance this out with my next point. So if you find out that a certain particular person you follow, you know, is just always trying to show off <laughs> in an un unnecessary way because people have to show off their, uh, no, not that people have to show off, people would like to share something good that is happening around them. And even you would also like to share something good that is happening around you. So there's nothing wrong with people sharing the good news in their lives. That's fine. But you know, some persons do that because they want to rub it in. Now you need to be able to discern people like that. And for people like that, just create a boundary. So if you need to unfollow or block or stay away from some people's statuses that is fine you can do that <laughs> so me too i came to show not show off i came to share my new teddy bear white fluffy one <laughs> okay to so my last point change your perspective so um be happy for other people so you're seeing people going out doing stuff and you can say wow that's good for you be happy for them and then be happy for yourself as well. So there is nothing wrong in staying at home, getting some rest, <laughs> you know, and doing something you love for your own self. If you like, you can share it online. If you like, you can keep it to yourself. So the last thing I would, I would add is that choose your perspective. Choose how you are deciding to see what is happening around you. So you can decide to be happy for other people. So... If you're single and uh, you're seeing people doing their pyjama stuff, be happy for them, you know. Some people are genuinely um, happy to do that because they were looking forward to this. So just be happy for them and then know that when you two, you also get married, you would also do your own. Just be happy for them. And you can wear your own pyjamas and snap it. it. <laughs> you know, life is that simple. I, I still remember the story of someone I heard who on a Valentine's Day bought a gift for herself and sent it to herself. If that is what makes sense to her, that's cool. If it helps her mental health, that's cool. So, but one of the major ways to actually solve these things are every other point I've listed in addition to this last one I've said, which is have the right perspective. Be happy for them and be happy for you. 
It's as simple as that. My name is Jonah Nolua. Remember to like, follow, share, drop a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you. Compliments of the season once again. And bye.